What's up everyone, how's it going? It's Simon here from CD Revival. I uh, hope you're all good. Uh, sorry for the slight delay from the last video, but basically I've got a new phone, so I was trying to do the video, which I did do it, uh, and didn't realise until after I'd done it that it kind of, I don't know, it messed with the video, there was blurring going on, it's like a Google Pixel 7, um, and yeah, the video quality was good but weird so a lot of stuff was out of focus uh, and also the microphone decided that it wasn't going to work with it either so it was using the phone microphone which was like complete shite uh, there's loads of like background noise and what have you so uh, yeah the video that I did do I couldn't really use because the quality was terrible it was like well you know stuff that I used to do when I first started so not ideal so basically I'm going to do the video again and it is R, so my music collection, and R is beginning with R. Uh, I did the first part of it, like maybe a week or so ago, a couple of weeks, could be, lose track of time to be quite honest with you. Um, I've obviously done a rap ranking and also a Red Hot Chili Peppers ranking. Uh, still got a Ramstein ranking to go, so I won't be showing any Ramstein stuff today, but uh, everything else in R, I will be going through. Some bits you might have seen before from update videos as well, so. Uh, just bear with those. So we'll get through them as quickly as we can, uh, giving a few details about each one and, you know, maybe the odd, you know, story here or there, whatever. Uh, so starting off with Rage Against the Machine, uh, their first album. Really enjoyed this one when it came out. I think today it's still probably their best album. Uh, superb album. Uh, lots of really famous tracks on it. Uh, things like Killing in the Name of, or Killing in the Name, Bomb Track to start off with, Bullet in the Head, Know Your Enemy, Wake Up, all really good stuff. Uh, loads of really good tracks on it. This one came out in 1992, so I was a mere 20 years old when this came out. Seems a long time ago, and to be fair, it probably was. So, uh, first Rage Against the Machine album, if you've not heard it, check it out, because it is very, very good indeed. Their second album, Evil Empire. Another good one, still, all their albums were excellent, to be honest. This one came out, I think, a couple of years later, maybe 95. It's got orange writing on the yellow, so it's pretty difficult to see. Uh, 1995, yeah, good guess by me. Balls on Parade uh, was a single from this one, really good. Down Rodeo, I really like as well. People of the Sun, Vietnam. Still excellent album, and that is Evil Empire, their second album. Third album of Rage Against the Machine, Battle of Los Angeles, the last proper one they did, to be honest. Things like Testify, Guerrilla Radio on here. All good stuff once again. Yeah, still a really, really good album. Excellent stuff. Uh, all their albums are well worth checking out, to be honest with you. Uh, Tom Morello, excellent guitarist makes it for me as well so really really good stuff and the last one of theirs i've got is renegades which is basically cover versions with some good interesting things on here things like uh, kick out the jams the mc5 track you've got microphone fiend which is eric b and rakim how i could just kill a man cypress hill coast of tom Joad, which i think is bruce springsteen street fighter man rolling stones uh, amongst others, there's the track listing for those of you that are not familiar with it. Um, still a really good album. So I'm not a massive fan of cover albums usually, but uh, they do some good stuff on it. It's well worth, well worth checking out. Next up, we are on to Rainbow. First album, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. Ronnie James Dio on vocals, obviously. Excellent first album. Well worth checking out. Man on the Silver Mountain is probably the most famous track on here. Uh, you've got things like Temple of the King, Catch the Rainbow as well. 16th century green sleeves, which is really cool. Uh, produced by Martin Birch, who obviously went on to do a lot of uh, Iron Maiden stuff as well, amongst other things. But yeah, excellent album. First album, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. Second album, Rising. Really superb, probably my favourite of theirs, I would say. Loads, we'll say loads of really good stuff on it. It's only got six tracks on it. Every track is pretty much a banger, from Tarot Woman to start with, Run With The Wolf, Starstruck, Do You Close Your Eyes, really like that one. Bit of a under underrated one, I think. 
and uh, Stargazer obviously on here which is an all time classic. Uh, Light in the Black to finish off, once again produced by Martin Birch. Uh, superb album, this one, yeah, you need in your collection. If you've not checked it out, you need to check that one out. And the third album with Dio, Long Live Rock and Roll. Another absolutely banging album. Produced by Martin Birch once again. Title track, Lady of the Lake, Kill the King. All good stuff. Really, really good album once again. All three with Dio were, were great for Rainbow. For me, I'm not so much of a fan of the Graham Bonnet era or the Joe Lynn Turner that came after that. Uh, I have got the on stage one as well from 1977. And this one, yeah, got loads of, uh, got Kill the King once again, Man on the Silver Mountain in a medley with Starstruck and uh, Catch the Rainbows on there. Mistreated the old uh, Deep Purple song which is really, really cool. 16th Century Greensleeve, Still I'm Sad. That's a track listing. Um, a few yeah, bits and pieces on the inside. Tells you all the equipment they used on the tour as well. So uh, yeah, good document, excellent album. That's the final Rainbow album that I do own. Next up we have Transformer by Lou Reed. Probably his most famous album. Produced by David Bowie and Mick Ronson, so this one really sort of made him uh, more famous, I guess. Uh, Perfect Day and uh, Walk on the Wild Side are the most famous tracks on here. Um, and yeah, not a bad album, pretty cool. Anything that Bowie was involved in in the 70s was generally pretty damn good. Uh, and this one, no exception. Uh, this one, Lionel Richie and the Commodores. This is the greatest hits, if you like, of Richie's solo stuff. And also, it's, as the title would suggest, his stuff with the Commodores, which is probably slightly better than his solo stuff. But you've got, yeah, so the classics all night long. Say You, Say Me, Hello, etc. Uh, and also things like uh, Machine Gun, Three Times a Lady, Easy, uh, and what have you. So... Uh, yeah, two discs, so lots to lots to choose from. If you're a casual fan of Lionel Richie like me, you know, I, I think he, you know definitely he's done some good stuff. So uh, worth a worth a go. I think it cost me like a pound or something, so maybe less. Uh, we're to Radiohead now. Their first album, Pablo Honey. Uh, for me, not not a brilliant album to be honest with you. Obviously, their first one. And uh, it's got Creep on it, which is obviously the standout track by far. The rest of it, not not really that great. Um, but I was going to say a good start. But they did go on, obviously, to then do The Bends next, which is a fantastic album. Really good guitar-based album. Uh, yeah, if you've not heard this one, check it out, because it's, uh, it's got some great tracks on it, like really catchy, or some quite powerful stuff as well. Things like Just, uh, the title track, The Bends, High and Dry, Fake Plastic Trees, uh, My Eye and Lung, for example, Nice Dream. There's loads, of, every track's really, really cool on this, but yeah, it's different to obviously what they became. This is a bit more straight up, uh, yeah, just a straight up guitar album. They could have gone on to become like something like, I don't know, uh, Coldplay, for example, and just played it safe, but they didn't. They then brought out OK Computer, which is a very different album. Uh, first listen, quite, I was going to say, it's, it's quite difficult to get into this one. Got a lot of depth, a lot of different tracks, a lot of uh, different sounds. And yeah, once you do sort of get it, you you, let, you know, it's, it's fantastic. Really probably my favourite Radiohead album. Um, some excellent stuff on here. Paranoid Android, for example, was amazing. Like you've got things like Karma Police and No Surprises, which are also singles. Uh, Airbags, excellent. Subterranean Homesick Alien. Just everything on here is really, really good. And this is a superb album uh, from 1997. This one came out. So, yeah, I'd say probably my favourite one. But they've done some good stuff since then. But this one, I think, is the pinnacle. Uh, next, they did Kid A. This one, very different once again. Um, it has got, it's a lot more electronic, sort of glitchy sort of sounds. 
but once again, you do need to listen to it a fair few times to uh, to get it. Some of the stuff on it's quite sort of Aphex Twin esque. Things like well, the first track, everything in its right place, and Kid A, uh, Idiotech as well. Very yeah, remind me of like Aphex Twin really with you know vocals. Uh, yeah, Morning Bell, National Anthem, um, a bit more. I don't know. I wouldn't say traditional, but. Um, but yeah, really, really good album, but takes a fair few listens. Then Amnesiac. Uh, this one's got a broken jewel case. I'm not going to open it out because I was just embarrassed myself. Um, I'll do that. Why not? Um, and uh, yeah, this one, this one, and again, is quite experimental. This one's a little bit more like there's a couple of tracks that would fit on uh, OK Computer, for example, like The Morning Bell. Uh, and Knives Out, for example, they're a bit more traditional sounding. Uh, Pack Like Sardines in a Crushed Tin is a, probably my favourite track, which is the first one. Uh, Pyramid Song is good, and uh, Pull Polk Revolving Doors, I really like. I think that's an instrumental, actually. It's got some good stuff on it. I do, do, enjoy, do enjoy the album as well. Uh, Hail to the Thief, this one, got some great stuff on it. Again, really, really good album. Things like Backdrifts and The Gloaming, Mixomatosis, they're all really superb tracks. Um, yeah, do enjoy this to that one quite a lot. And the last one I've got of theirs is In Rainbows. This one comes in a bit of a fancy kind of envelope package with bits and pieces inside. Um, comes with the CD and also stickers and also a book with you know lyrics etc in there um, which is nice nice to have a decent package of which uh, yeah but yeah this album not as good to be honest with you it's a bit more once again it's a bit more traditional um, and less electronica going on i suppose i mean it is a good album don't get me wrong but um it's probably one i'd go back to least uh 15 steps quite good to open up body snatches is is quite typically guitar-y but um but yeah it's, it's got some good stuff on here man it's, it's okay but it's um it's definitely not not my favorite uh, that's all i got from them they have done other stuff obviously moon shaped pool and king of limbs which i've I think briefly listened to. I've not really checked them out too much. I think one of them I didn't really care for too much. I can't remember which one. Uh, we're on to the Rolling Stones now. I've got this one, which is Big Hits, uh, High Tide and Green Grass, which I think might have been an American release. I'm not too sure. Um, but either way, it's got like hits. It's like a bit of a compilation, really. Uh, this one says it came out in 2002, which is obviously not true, but... Well, maybe the CD version did. I don't know when it originally did, but it's got Satisfaction on there. The last time, uh, Time is on my side. Ninth Nervous Breakdown, Get Off My Cloud, Not Fade Away. Uh, probably the uh, most remarkable songs on there. Um, but yeah, pretty good collection. Uh, then we go into uh, Beggar's Banquet with the original cover. This one is was the start of their, what I would consider, glory period. Uh, another broken jewel case. Surprise, surprise. This one wants to fall out as well. We've we'll got to be very careful with that. Um, yeah, good album, this one. Sympathy for the Devil, probably the most famous track. Street Fighting Man is another standout. Um, and we've got things like Jigsaw Puzzle, Factory Girl, Stray Cat Blues. Some good stuff on here. I say it was the start of their golden period, but not the best one of their golden period for me. But still very, very good album. Uh, Let It Bleed, which is superb. Pretty much love every track on here. This is the super audio CD version of this one as well. And it has got the title track, Let It Bleed, Love In Vain, I really, really like. Uh, Gimme Shelter, super famous track, Midnight Rambler is amazing. Uh, Live With Me, I really like as well. I think that's a good underrated track. Monkey Man. And uh, you can't always get what you want, which I think is a bit of an overrated track. But 
Country Honk as well, which is the original version, like an early version of um, Honky Tonk Women, slightly different version. So, but yeah, really got good a lot of time for this album, um, which is yeah, I think it's great. Uh, and the cake on the front, I think, was uh, made by Jane Asher, who was sort of dating Paul McCartney, I believe, at the time. But anyway, good album, excellent album. Uh, Rolling Stones, Sticky Fingers, with the iconic cover. Obviously, hasn't got the zip on the CD cover. And uh, another excellent, excellent album. I uh, love this album. Definitely one of my favourites of theirs. You've got Brown Sugar, Sway, Wild Horses. Uh, Can't You Hear Me Knocking. You've got Move, Bitch as well. Superb, Dead Flowers, Moonlight Mile, Sister Morphine. Yeah, it's top, top notch album, this one. Um, all killer, no filler. And the last one from their classic, what I would consider period, and probably their best album, and definitely in my top 10 albums of all time, is Exile on Main Street. This is the special edition, I guess, but it's got two CDs and it's got a load of extra tracks on it as well. So yeah, really, really good. Was very happy to get this. Um, but every track on here was superb. It's just an iconic, just an amazing album. Probably my favorites on there, things like Ventilator Blues, uh, Rocks Off, Rip This Joint, the Star Trek's Sweet Virginia is fantastic as well. Loving Cup, I really like. Um, and just, yeah, just everything on here is just amazing. It's, you know, an essential album and say definitely in my top 10 albums of all time. Um, just a, yeah, quality, quality album. They followed that up, sadly, with Goat's Head Soup, which is a disappointment, I think, compared to what came before it. It's not a bad album, but it's, um, yeah, very much a come down from Exile. Uh, things like Dancing with Mr. D is pretty good, and Angie, obviously, is fairly classic, and Star Star is a good track as well, but, yeah, it's not, it's not fantastic. Uh, some people may like it. If you do, then... Good for you. Uh, Rewind I've got here. This is a bit of a greatest hits one. I did used to have this on cassette actually. Uh, got some pretty good stuff on here. Miss You, Under Cover of the Night, Start Me Up. Um, so Emotional Rescue, Only Rock and Roll, but I like it. So some good classic stuff from sort of mid to late 70s, I guess. Um, so pretty decent collection. Uh, Bigger Bang, which is their most recent i think it came out ages ago obviously but it is the last album they did a proper album anyway they did like a blues covers one this one came out in 2000 and uh, i can't even read it let's say 2005 but you can correct me if i'm wrong yeah i think it is 2005 but actually quite a decent album um not bad at all a lot better than some of the stuff they brought out in the sort of 80s 90s etc um, yeah, actually quite a decent rock and roll album <clears throat> and 40 licks as well this one's basically a I think this is a snide copy if I'm being brutally honest with you but regardless of that it's two CDs and it's a greatest hit so it's pretty cool uh, what else have we got here look sharp rocks out I showed this on a previous video I got that very recently I paid like 20 pence or something for it um, you know, it was worth it for that money, just for the track, the look. I have got this one, Marty Robbins' Gunfighter Ballads. This one's a superb country and western album, sort of thing my dad would listen to when I was uh, very much younger than today. Uh, some really good stuff on here, things like Big Iron and El Paso, for example. Cool Water as well is another classic song of his. Um, just, uh, yeah, just a really cool, like, yeah, country and western style, uh, tales of the old west, if you like. Um, well worth checking out if you like that kind of thing. Cliff Richard I already showed as well in another video, Private Collection. This is from like 79 to 88, so it's all this pure 70s cheese, which does take me back. So, uh, yeah, things like Carrie and Wired for Sound um, and like Daddy's Home, for example. So, uh, yeah, not the sort of thing I'd listen to ever, but, you know, I have it anyway. <clears throat> uh, Red Dragon Cartel, Patina. This is the second album from Red Dragon Car Cartel, which is Jakey e. Lee's band. 
Jakey Lee obviously was famously Aussie's guitarist, so I've got a lot of time for his work in the Aussie like band, uh, and also his work with his own band Badlands, which sadly, uh, yeah, met with a bit of a tragic end. But uh, Red Dragon Cartel, yeah, it's okay to be honest with you. Uh, first album's okay. I haven't got that one. This is the second one, and it's equally okay. Not amazing, but you know, certainly very listenable. Uh, Rocky IV soundtrack, um, classic film, classic soundtrack, loads of really cool, like the two Survivor songs, Burning Heart and um, Eye of the Tiger, uh, Hearts on Fire by John Cafferty, classic tune, Living in America, James Brown and also No Easy Way Out by Robert Tepper, um, all absolute classic tracks and uh, if you like the film then, you know, will remind you of that and that's no bad thing. Last couple now, uh, Roachford, first album, kind of funky, rocky, bit poppy, cuddly toy, big sort of big hit from this one, pretty cool track. I haven't listened to the whole album all the way through, I'm not going to lie. But And lastly is another soundtrack which is the Reservoir Dogs soundtrack, uh, classic film once again, classic soundtrack. And this has got uh, interludes, which are sort of speech bits from the film as well. Uh, you've got things like Little Green Bag and uh, Magic Carpet Ride and Stuck in the Middle with You and Coconut, for example. Um, so, yeah, it's a cool soundtrack, cool film, cool soundtrack. And happy to have that one also. Cool. Well, hopefully this video will come out better than the last time I did it. And, um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, we'll be on to, after I've done the Ramstein uh, ranking, um, we will do probably, I've got a few bits to show that I've picked up since the last update video, so I might do that and then go on to S, which I've got, yeah, a bunch of stuff in S, so there's quite a few shelves of S's to go through and some rankings like the Scorpions and Steel Panther and uh, who knows what else, probably some other bands. No doubt, Slayer I've already done. Uh, may, may redo that one because that was quite a long time ago. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video today. And um, I, yeah, really appreciate you watching. And I uh, hope to catch you next time. Take it steady. Cheers.